மாலை நேரம் அமாழி தூரும் காலம் Welcome to Tamil Guitar Lessons, a very happy see you once again guys, Isaac Thayil here. Uh, thanks so much for all your support towards our uh, new channel which I teach in Tamil which is T-H-A-M-I-Z-H, Tamil Guitar Lessons. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do consider subscribing. I have posted this lesson one day before in Tamil Guitar Lessons which I teach in Tamil. Uh, so if you understand Tamil, you can subscribe that and you can watch our lessons one day before. All right guys, the original scale of this song is B flat actually, but I have played uh, in C major scale, I changed the key to C uh, in our reference video and by the way reference video is in the description, watch it a couple of times before learning this. Uh, so in C major you can play most of the chords in open, whereas in B flat you have to play a lot and a lot of chords in bar chords, so there is a reason to play in C major and also you can sing well in C major. So let me tell you the chord taps first. Strings are numbered in this way as you know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So C major is a 5 string chord because this is a root note. So X means mute or don't play. So 6 string X. This one is 3rd fret, 2nd fret, 0, 1st fret and then 0. So C major X, 3, 2, 0, 1. And then D minor, X, X, because it's a 4 string chord, so X, X, 0, 2, 3, 1. And then A minor, 5 string chord, so X, 0, 2, 2, 1, 0. And then G major, 6 string chord, so 3, 2, 0, 0, 3, 3. Another inversion, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, 3. The difference between this G and this G is uh, the third fret of the second string. In this G, we hold the third fret of the second string. But this G doesn't have the third fret of the second string. It becomes open. At some point, it's very easy to shift like this. So that's why we are uh, we're gonna use both the version. And also, we have to learn this. G as well. If you want, you can use it. This one is 3, 5, 5, 4, 3, 3. And then we're going to use a G sharp diminished chord. If you want, you can play this. This one is, let's make it simple. Don't, you don't have to complicate it. This one is 4, 5 and 6. Just place, I mean, just play only these three strings. That's more than enough. So if you're going to play this chord, you have to learn this chord because we're going to travel like this. So if you don't want to play this chord, you can stick with open chord. And then we got uh, F major, which is a full step down from G major. This is F major. So 1, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1. And then we got E minor, the sixth string chord. So 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 0. And then we got F major 7. This is F. You can use F if you want. But if you want to add some more flavor, you can use F major 7. Actually, this is F major 7. And this one is, uh, technically speaking, is F major 7 over C. If you want to play the bass of F, you have to hold it with your thumb. Not a big deal, you don't have to worry much. So this tab is, the way I hold is X or you have to play like this. So one, three, three, uh, two, one, and then zero. All right. So very beginning it goes like, So here I'm for I'm playing C and then D minor and then A minor. I'm just following a pattern called bass three two one. 
If I play any chord, I just plug the bass note of the chord and then I'm gonna play 3, 2, 1. So if you're new to finger picking, check the description. I have put up a beginner lesson to how to play basic finger picking. So C chord, as we know, this is a five string chord. We're gonna play the root note, which is the fifth string, C note, and then we're gonna play three, two, one strings. So bass three, two, one. And when we go to D minor, we're gonna play fourth string because this is the bass note of D minor chord. Four, three, two, one. A minor chord, as you know, five string chord. So, because this is the root note, A note, bass three two one, G six three two one. So same set of chords we have to play it twice. A minor and then G. Now So here we're gonna start strumming because it gives some more flavor. The strumming goes like down, 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 up, down. simple strumming pattern it's easy kind of thing to catch so it goes like down 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 up down 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 up down 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 up down 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 up down so down 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 up 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 down so it goes like So three times you have to play C and then F. It goes to G now. So this is why we learned this version. You can shift easily or else if you don't want to play that, you can play open chord as well. So G you have to stay for a little longer time. It goes like... So G stays for a long time and here you can add a little sweetness by adding diminished chord while moving next passage. It goes like So if you want to play this chord, you should definitely hold this bar chord. And if you are new to bar chord, I strongly recommend you to check the description, learn the bar chords. It's very easy guys. It's not kind of easy, but if you invest time, you can definitely play that. So, but if you don't want to play this diminished chord, you can directly go like, that you can go and then it goes like oh, oh. something but a minor f a minor f f and then it goes to g same thing you can do here. G, G sharp diminished. Same thing. A minor. F. F. Same thing. G. That one is C. And then. So this was A minor, C, 
here you can go F or F major 7. F major 7 add a little more sweetness. So, same thing repeats. So, if you want to play this F, you can go like this. Choice is yours. So, twice we have to play A minor C, F, and G, or A minor C, F major 7, and G. And then it goes to. So here I used only two chords which are C, G, then C, G. This one, also, this one is also G, but the thing is if you want to use the connecting chord, if you want to go like that, you can use this G. You can also use same pattern chords like So you can go all right guys we came to an end if you enjoyed this video show your love through likes and comments and uh, practice slowly so that you can learn very fast good luck guys cheers